Hi, I'm Roseanne and welcome to my garden. There's nothing more uplifting or cheerful in the springtime than a colorful display of tulips. That's especially true after a long white winter in Minnesota. Tulips, like other spring flowering bulbs such as daffodils, need a period of cold in order to flower and are normally planted in the fall. It's late September and my husband and I are ready to plant out over 250 tulip bulbs in our front garden. In this video, I'll take you through the entire project, both from a design and horticultural standpoint. The tulips we've selected are long-stemmed classic tulips, all imported from the Netherlands. As you can see, we've selected a lot of different colors for our front yard garden. Most of the tulips will be lining the front walkway, in between the hosta plants, and along the narrower pathway to our garden entrance. The pictures you're seeing were taken a couple of years ago. Even with the best of care, we find that we need to replace most of the tulips every two or three years because they stop flowering. I like grouping tulips of the same variety and color in clusters of at least 10 bulbs. Large clusters of one color create a nice impact. I'll place the bags of bulbs, each representing a cluster of tulips, so that the colors, shapes, and height are distributed on both sides of the path in a balanced way. I don't want symmetry, but I do want one side of the path to echo the other side. I'm done placing the bags of tulips where I believe the colors would look the best, and I believe we're ready to start planting the tulips. Uh, to begin, I only open up uh, one color of tulips at a time to make sure I don't mix up the bulbs inadvertently. And uh, here I have two bags of purple peony tulips. Uh, that's 16 bulbs in total, and I've spaced them out to get a general idea of how many will fit in this space. I like the spacing. It's about six inches apart, and in many cases I go quite close to the hosta plant. That's fine. So we're really ready to start planting and uh, to do that I will pick up all of the bulbs uh, to make sure I don't lose any under soil accidentally and we will, we will plant one bulb at a time. Our tools and supplies for this project include a bulb planting auger, a one half inch drill to accommodate the auger, a long narrow trowel and some organic bulb fertilizer. This auger is about three inches wide and perfect for creating deep holes for the tulip bulbs. We don't use a shovel as the auger is far more efficient for us and its precise nature means it can navigate around neighboring plants more readily. Steve, my husband, is used to this fall ritual. We've been teaming up to plant bulbs along the front walkway for over 20 years. In the springtime, before the trees leaf out, this area is quite sunny. Tulips like sun, but many varieties can also tolerate light shade. With our planning done, Steve begins drilling the first hole. We plant our tulips on the deep side, about seven or eight inches deep. We find the depth keeps the squirrels away and slows the plants from emerging too soon in the spring. I place the recommended amount of fertilizer in the planting hole, mix it in, and firmly place the tulip bulb. Be sure to keep the pointy end facing up. I put enough soil in the hole to stabilize the bulb and then we begin the process again. I like to keep the holes visible so that I know where we've dug. When we've completed the entire area, I fill up all the holes and we move on to the next area. When we're all done planting for the day, we water the entire area. We make sure the bulbs get a thorough watering at least once a week until the ground freezes. Good drainage is important. Tulips don't like soggy conditions. We just completed our second afternoon of planting and are all done with the project. 
250 bulbs was a lot for us, but using the auger made light work of an otherwise daunting task. I should point out another uh, bulb planting tool, however, and that is this. Uh, it's called a bulb planter. It comes in different sizes and it also comes in a long handled version. And uh, this is a great tool, especially when you're not planting that many bulbs uh, or you're planting bulbs more shallow or you have really easy soil to work with. Because of the scope of our tulip project, the auger was the best choice for us. Before I wrap up this video, I'd like to share a few tips on tulip care with you. First of all, tulips are pretty cold tolerant and can handle a wintry spell if it's short-lived. Here are tulips lining our front walk after a mid-April snowstorm. The flowers weren't yet formed and they recovered just fine. In order to give our tulips the best chance of coming back the following year, we apply balanced organic bulb fertilizer around the base of the tulip plants after the leaves have emerged in the spring. After the tulips are done flowering, it's also important to allow their leaves to turn brown before cutting them back. As long as the leaves are green, they're supplying energy to the bulb for next year's flower. I'm a fan of combining hosta and tulips in the same bed. I think they're perfect companion plants. When the tulips are in their prime, the hosta are an ideal size and shade of green to complement the tulips. By the time the tulip leaves are turning brown, the hosta are much larger and help to camouflage the unsightly leaves. Once the bulbs are in the ground, tulips are easy to care for and the rewards are so worth the effort. There's nothing quite like a colorful springtime tulip show to generate excitement about the coming growing season. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and are inspired to plant tulips if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.